I spoke to Dr. Jeff Jordan at the Advanced Measurement and Diagnostics Branch to find out more. The conventional catalysts have actually relied very heavily on so-called precious metals such as platinum and palladium to do much of the work. Unfortunately, these systems don't begin to convert pollutants into less toxic gases until they get very hot. So when you start your car up every day, particularly when it's cold outside, you are effectively emitting all of the pollutants from your tailpipe directly into the environment. Now, if you think of that happening billions of times each day, that's a lot of pollution. This is where the NASA catalytic converter comes in. NASA researchers have created a new chemical process which can actually convert the pollutant gases into less noxious gases almost immediately, even while the catalytic converter is cold. This dramatically reduces the amount of harmful pollutants which are distributed into the atmosphere. Many believe that this new device could cut pollutant gases by as much as 30%, making the air we breathe much cleaner. The NASA Catalyst has um, some unique qualities and characteristics. For, of course, its genesis was for space-based carbon dioxide laser systems. So it was originally developed to operate in the cold vacuum of space. As such, when we bring it down to a ground base, an Earth application, we see that it is much more effective in eliminating pollutants under what we call cold start efficiency, or when you first start your car. The NASA Catalyst starts to convert pollutant gases to environmentally friendly gases almost immediately because of its low temperature capability. The low temperature oxidation catalyst is a perfect example of a space-based technology that's being transitioned in order to improve the quality of life for all Americans. So the next time you have your catalytic converter in your car replaced or buy a new car, there's a very good possibility that a little bit of NASA space technology is riding along with you to improve the air.